Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our camping and survival series. We have another monthly box in today. This of course is the SHTF from Bud K and uh, standard size box. So let's see what's inside and uh, hopefully they got us something pretty good. All right everybody, so here we go. This is a handful of things right here. We've got six kind of, kind of the standard total. Uh, of course, here is our card that lays out everything that's in this box as well as the other two boxes. Uh, I'm just going to grab the first one here uh, that I come to, and it is this uh, BO or bug out magnifying monocular. And uh, it's already half open. I don't think uh, it doesn't look like the glue was very good. So uh, we've got a set of instructions here. Uh, it comes in a uh, kind of a padded, looks like a, yeah, it feels, yeah, it's a little padded nylon case. It does have a little loop here so you can uh, put it maybe on a belt. Uh, and, oh, we got a few little pieces falling out here. Then we've got the monocular here, and then it does have, looks like uh, we got a little tiny lens wipe. The monocular here, uh, pretty, pretty simple. There's not a lot to it. Um, it says it is an 8 by 21 and it is uh, it says it's 131 to 1,000 so uh, if you're looking at something that is a thousand meters away uh, it will look like it is 131 meters away all right well I mean looking through it I do notice it does seem to be a little hazy uh, so I'm not real sure if this is going to be the greatest uh, I'm not even going to worry about trying to show this th through the lens. It's just kind of pointless, I think. It does come with a neck strap here. And uh, I mean, again, this is this is cheap SHTF stuff. Uh, so um, don't expect a lot. And, uh, you know, this is what I would expect, uh, at least from what I can tell. Uh, it is obviously one uh, zoom factor it is it does not adjust or anything you just have the eyepiece which will turn and uh, help bring it into focus uh, but you're not really going to get any closer or further away with that not bad not great but not bad so uh, first thing down next one we will go here blue camo flashlight okay so please tell me that doesn't mean that it's actually blue camouflage because and it is um, yeah, blue camouflage. So you have kind of the green in there, uh, not quite olive drab, but pretty close. And then you've got the blue and it also is kind of, it's that, uh, pixelated type of camouflage. It is, uh, it does feel like an aluminum. It does have uh, kind of a gnarling, uh, texture up here at the top, as well as at the back. You've got a big old red push button. Uh, and then you do have a simple little uh, belt or shirt clip there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, this is the extend in and out for the uh, for the magnification, and it looks like it has one of those standard Cree bulbs in there. The uh, LED, a single double A, and uh, I mean it's nice because it's small, fits in your hand and everything. Here's uh, here we go. And uh, yeah, that's actually not bad. That's a pretty reasonable light. And then you can take and focus it in. And uh, you know, kind of do a flood or focal down into, uh, into that small spot there. And for a double A, that's not bad. That's a, that's a pretty reasonable um, amount of light. Uh, this goes for uh, $7 basically and uh, to go back to the little magnifying telescope here uh, It says this goes for $10 uh, We'll go ahead with the hat or the skull cap or toboggan whatever you want to call it uh, And of course obviously this is their brand SHTF now. It's not super thick, but definitely of course a toboggan uh, or a skull cap of some type, any kind of hat. Um, if you happen to be out in the uh, elements or something like that, uh, when it's uh, cooler, uh, definitely great to help keep you warm. And sometimes these are actually good uh, in the heat as well. 
um, to keep the sun off a little bit and also it helps to soak up perspiration. Definitely something that is uh, very, very usable in a lot of situations. So definitely very glad for that one. And let's see this one. They do suggest um, that this goes for $13. Uh, let's see, now we've got the next one and this is another SHTF branded one. This is a 20 in one multi-tool keychain. 20 in one, that's saying a lot right there. So let's take a look, see what we've got. Cause this is it's pretty tiny. I mean, you can see that that's, that's small. Um, that's what, maybe two and a half inches or something like that. Yep. It has a little inch thing here and it has two inches. That's all the further it goes to. Uh, you of course have your, your carabiner here. Um, looks like this also has a couple wrench sizes right here. Uh, you can see kind of the straight, the straight sides there. And those would be maybe for wrench sizes. Uh, in idea that uh, you know trying to get a lot of things into one simple little design uh, a lot of these things that I really don't feel are useful um, or not that useful uh, I don't know how much stuff I'm going to be using little tiny micro screwdrivers and why I would need like 50 of them but um, you know at least at least there's a handful of good things on here like uh, like for example the file right here the fact that we do have a carabiner um, to kind of clip a few things on we can hook a few things off of it and then hook it to a, a bag or a belt loop or something like that uh, a couple little wrenches that aren't bad uh, as well as the wire stripper and the uh, little pry tool those things are definitely really uh, can be really useful uh, so not not horrible uh, I, I really stretching it with the uh, the 20 and one thing but you know that's just the way I see it so all right so next one we've got here is this yellow jacket pocket knife and uh, again this is a SHTF branded version plastic scales uh, but we do have kind of an aluminum plate that gives it that yellow and I'm guessing that's why they call it that uh, what is that yellow jacket so I'm guessing that's the yellow jacket part. Uh, now we've got, of course, a side piece here for your belt or shirt. We have the little window breaker stud, which really is, honestly, I believe is kind of pointless uh, myself, because uh, I think I can be done with a lot of other things. I don't think it needs to be something that's like a selling point. Uh, now we do have a uh, bottle opener right here. Uh, now this doesn't have a thumb, a little thumb knob. Uh, it does have a little bit of a recess right there. I think that's kind of, well, I thought it was like maybe a blood group, but it's not on both sides. Uh, now it does have the finger uh, thing back here, so flip it out. Now this I prefer. This is a pretty decent blade. Uh, pretty, pretty nice in terms of thickness. Uh, it is a straight blade all the way up. And of course this is a uh, drop point, and that's just noticed by the fact that this has a slow sloping point down. Um, now, if the two sides were the same curvature, then that would, of course, be a spear point. It does have the uh, integral or the, uh, the body lock uh, right there that you just slide over and open and close. Now, it feels reasonably sharp. It does fair. Um, it's getting some of the hair, but it's not getting all of it. So, uh, you know, in general, I would say this wouldn't be a bad um, EDC type knife okay so let's see now and of course I forgot to hit this one but uh, the 20 in one multi-tool they do suggest that this goes for ten dollars uh, which I feel is stretching it uh, like I said the the usability of it is I feel limited uh, and then the uh, assi this is the SHTF assisted opening knife is what they call it on here and uh, they say that that goes for $13. Now we've got this last one. Now this is the SOA one shot, one kill field knife. And uh, of course SOA is famous for their one shot, one kill uh, kind of slogan there. And then of course their little uh, skull with a green beret. And first thing I can tell you right off the bat, this is super light. For the size of this already, I'm already telling you this is very, very light. 
Um, we have a hard plastic sheath that they look like they tried to dress up by making the uh, like the pseudo engraving there, kind of a sunburst or starburst type engraving. And then you've got their logo there. Um, does have a uh, belt clip there, and it does have that weird like nail hanger thing there. Uh, I don't know how much people are going to actually use that, but whatever. Uh, now let's see. Okay, so we've got a clip point knife. Uh, roughly, I'm going to say that's roughly four and a half inch blade. Uh, you've got a plastic polymer type of handle with a uh, with some rubber grip on it that also has that like sun sunburst almost type thing to it. You do have the uh, the scraper on the back end, and of course this is generally used for uh, scraping flint or something like that, uh, or a uh, fire steel, so you can of course start your fire without killing your blade. I do like the fact that this is a straight edge all the way up and not one of those funky, fight, some of their fighting knives that they have will sit there and put like a serrated blade on the back end. Um, now, I mean, it does feel nice. It's pretty reasonable. Uh, the style of handle is comfortable. It does have a lanyard um, opening there at the back, so you can uh, uh, add some cordage to it if you want to. I definitely don't feel that this is a full tang. Uh, honestly, I feel like the tang only goes to like here. So I would be worried about putting a lot of pressure on this because it really doesn't feel like um, it's going to have a lot of durability. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Well, I will say this, it is definitely nice and sharp. And that's all the way down the, the length of the blade. I mean, all the way into the curve and everything. It, uh, it took the hair right off right there. That's, that's bald as a baby. So, uh, not bad there. I will say that. So, a nice edge. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, our six products here. Now, total for these, they do say this is roughly $63 for all of this. We bought it individually. Of course, we got it for $20. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. This, of course, is the world of me and another episode from our camping and survival series. Uh, of course, if you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. We will, of course, have a link to the Bud Case site as well as links to our other social media. Uh, and uh, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done so already, hit one of those subscribe buttons either in the corner or down below. And, uh, of course, also ring that little bell so you get notified when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.